Hey guys, JH, welcome to practice tea. It's, Bob, I'm just, I'm just programmed to say that, buddy. This is for you, obviously. Um, how are you, buddy? So you just do things by, uh, by programming. It's a pity we can't get the golf swing to that level of programming where it's totally automatic. Well, frankly, you know, it's it's with channel lock. It's, it really is for me. It, it's absolutely like that. Okay, buddy. The good thing about about you is is you've got wonderful rhythm. If you can incorporate that rhythm in the plane attack that you need for channel lock, uh, you'll have fantastic golf swing. Okay, so what do I see? I see all this is good. I think maybe, maybe this is a bit open, Bob. I think I think you could probably get your alignment, and then you could bring this up a little bit. I think being back here, like that, very hard to take the club straight back. When I get there, I feel like I want to lift it a little bit, which is what you do. If you bring it up here, see, as soon as I bring this up, see what happens here? the shoulder orientates up straight away as soon as that comes up when it's back here it's not there I've got to artificially position it so the first thing I'd say is just take a little bit of the the openness of the foot line out after you've got your uh, your uh, your bead on the target your alignment to the target now what I see in your golf swing is this this is all nice but then you go, you start here, but then you go up here. And, and you are really upright. So in terms of you're a real two-planer, but a very significant and severe two-planer. Now it's very hard to take it in here and go up there and then and, and actually underplane as much as you need to to just get a straight line attack on the ball coming into it. So, so buddy, what I suggest is once you've got here, just try doing this as a drill. When you when you take the club back, just just roll the face down. So you get you get here and then you roll it up. Just roll it down. Just roll it down there. Roll it there. It's a roll down. It's that. Now what that'll do is that will put the club or the shaft keep it on the on the forearm line and the forearm plane because that's what we want we don't want the forearm to go here come up match the shoulder plane and have the club see see that arm there is matching the shoulder plane we want that that shaft to match those holes those three planes so we've got this plane shoulder plane they're all basically that's what we want but we want, want that configuration. We don't want that configuration. See, that's two plane and that's out of plane. And so once you're here, you've got to make you know, a fairly significant backdrop. And that gets you very handsy. And you are a little bit, a little bit handsy. Okay, you, you know, you've got good, good um, coordination, so you can get away with that. But I think it will simplify um, channel lock in particular for you. If you can just as we roll it down, we just roll it down. Here, roll it down. I'm trying to do this. Roll it behind me. Roll it behind me. Yeah. I don't ever want this, I don't ever want my hands or, or my arm above my shoulder plane. And I want to try and keep this and the shot. That, that, that's, that's basically the actuality of the plane, guys. I should incorporate this for everybody, so I will. This this is a video for you, Bob, for Bob Gaudreau, uh one of our uh, our channel guys and our MMI guys. So so Bob asked me about um, just having a look at his swing, and Bob has got yeah, a nice swing and nice rhythm, but he's getting to here and he's getting a plane change. Now, I've just mentioned all that to Bob, but but I thought I might as well do it in in one video and let everybody have a look at it because I think a few people have the same problem. So guys, what we can do, 
when we get here to keep the club to keep the shaft and the arm and and the and the, the shoulders on the one plane and what is that well essentially it's this guys that's where we want to be see how see how that arm that shaft and that shoulder line is all on the same plane that's what we want to try and achieve in this golf swing we want to try and achieve that that's what we want to try and achieve we don't want that and we don't want that we don't want that we just want this this is this is the one plane now with, with uh, Bob Goudreau's um, swing he's got nice beautiful rhythm but and he gets here but when he starts he gets to here starts nicely and then he goes whoops uh, and we call that we used to call that in conventional teachings the Otis elevator swing and we go from basement to top floor ladies handbags top flare guys we want to stay down in the basement with all the the uh, the, uh, the guys tools and stuff and uh, machinery so so to get it to go back online guys just think of this think of turning winding it down don't ever get to here and then wind up as soon as you wind up you're getting a you're getting separation as soon as you take it here and you wind up you're getting separation of the arms off the body and you're getting the plane change so think about when we take once we start back here just wind counterwind the club going back because we want the club to look at the ball anyway that's our golf ball right there and we counterwind the club if I take a bead on that that is straight at that golf ball looking straight at it so so for people that have had trouble doing that anyway in the golf swing uh, this will really help you this is very much square to square but how do you get square to square well for me I roll it down it's a roll down for me it's never a roll up so we're here guys and we're just going to roll it down yeah yeah so there, this is a uh, uh, two-purpose video guys it's for uh, for Bob Gaudreau and um, uh, and for all you guys because I, I think this this process of rolling it down to to achieve and it and and maintain uh, the single plane it is is good so so it's good that, that Bob's um, got the issue with his golf swing now he can probably have that plane change and still hit channel lock you know quite effectively but the point I make to Bob in talking to Bob now is that we don't want to have to make any um, complications or adjustments to the backswing or additions we don't want to do any of that we basically just want to take the club back just want to take it back like that here and guys that's that's basically where we want we want the club I mean okay it's going to be cocked here but it's if it wasn't cocked it'd be there it wouldn't be there okay we're gonna have a bit of cock on it here but it's still in plane all that front on still looks in plane when, it, when I take it back here it all still looks in plane lead arm is on the shoulder line shaft is on the lead arm line so that is one plane so for uh, for Bob uh, but he just um, when you take it back here just roll it down just think we're going to roll it down we're never going to roll it we're never going to roll it up oh. oh I love this golf swing first shot of the day and that's that's hammer time absolutely hammer time looking down there guys because I've got a guy coming here for a lesson well I'm just it's not really a formal lesson it's just a guy that that sort of uh, came up here on holidays and he came into this range here and he's a sub subscriber on my channel and he looked out on the range here and he said he saw that car and that car and he saw those from my videos and thought this must be the range where JH practices does his videos so he hung around here for a couple of hours hoping that I would turn up and <laughs> fortunately for him I did turn up and he's a lovely guy he's actually a um, former uh, superstar rugby 
rugby union player, played for the national team, the Australian Wallabies, and uh, you know, played at the highest level against the greatest teams in the world, and was, was a great player himself, and is now the, uh, the coach of coaches for the Australian rugby union. Rugby union. So he's a he's a pretty talented dude, and still at 46 years old, guys. I mean, he's he could bench press his practice too. He's a strong dude, and uh, amazingly fit. But with a typical with a guy with all this power and speed, can't control it. So we just had him doing channel lock. Um, I showed him channel lock, and within 20 minutes he was just blitzing it, and he ended up pitching the ball as good as I did. Um, if he turns up. Might even do a video with him later on. He's a lovely guy, but one of our uh, one of our great rugby union uh, international players, highest world class level, well coordinated guy, speed guys. He must have 120 mile an hour club head speed. He's just brutal. Sets the grass on fire. You digress, JH. But that's why I'm looking down there because I, I think he's he's going to come. Okay, guys. So um. Here we go. So we're going to roll it down on that backswing. Roll it down. Oh, I love, just love channel lock. Come over here, hit it out of this this spiky rough. And I, guys, I hit it out of the rough most of the time because I like to. A, it builds up my strength, and you've got to hit it right. You can hit it off there; it's easy. But you've got to you got to really uh, hammer it here now. I've got off the track. This is for Bob Goodrow. Can't help myself once I get in front of the camera, guys. And you saw the way I started this video. This was a video for Bob, and I started out as if it was a normal uh, Tommy Golf video. Getting old, guys. At my age, you know, it's just very hard to keep all those those marbles inside the circle. Okay, Bob, and for the other guys. So it's a roll down, guys. It's a roll down. We just take that trail shoulder straight back, part of the, 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 the new part of the protocol, which is instead of pushing this lead side into the trail side, we pull the trail side away from the lead side. We just pull it away. And guys, while I'm doing, while, while I'm on this video, so Bob, that's for you. That's what you've got to do. You've got to roll it down and just get in the mirror in the garage or something. Have a look at a roll down and see what it feels like to keep everything in line without any elevation. The whole idea is you get the down, down, down feeling. I never get any up, up, up. There's no elevation feel in my golf swing. It's always pushed down. So for Bob, that's that's what you've got to work on, my friend. Okay, guys, one of the guys, uh, George, I just saw an email a while ago before I came out, or a post on the channel, came up with something very interesting, guys. Haven't tried it, but he said, with the ready code, and he's a young whippersnapper as well. He's only 69. Yeah, we are. We're still whippersnappers. Maybe we don't whip and snap as much as as hard as we did, but we, we, we can still whip and snap. Okay, so what George said was very interesting. I haven't tried it. Haven't tried it, guys. But what he said was with the ready code, what he's doing is he's getting it to here, and he's actually bouncing. He's sort of bouncing to set himself. Now, if you think about that, guys, that's basically priming the body to balance itself and to get in motion. The, the, the ready code that I've been advocating is up here is a is a stationary ready code, but this is a ready code, this is a pause in motion. If, if you can actually use that terminology, this is a pause in motion, I think. Now I don't know, and I've asked George to do a video if he can and give us a look at it. And guys, for everybody, and I say this to everyone, whatever you got as an idea, guys, this is an open channel. And we all learn from each other. Bill Phillips is always on about that. And he's absolutely right. Send it in. <sighs> Guys, we're all learners. I mean, I'm still learning. I've still got my all plates on. Uh, we still do that. Uh, but we can learn from each other. And I love that suggestion from George. So, so George, uh, it, well done. Well done. I mean, I haven't tried it, but I think you're saying this, my friend. I think you're saying, ready code. Now, now I'm getting ready. I'll try it. couple of guys over here I hope <laughs> I hope with your your new pause with motion uh, George that I don't kill these two guys out here 
but but I understand the principle. It's basically ready, 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 and go. Yeah. And he said he's bouncing. I want to see the bounce. I don't know how how he's bouncing. Whether he's bouncing with his arms, or he's doing it as a, as a pogo stick. So so George, send me something and let me see. But I'm going to feel it. I think in the legs. So this is George's uh, pause in, with with motion attached to it. <laughs> oh wow! Oh. I killed that, George. Absolutely killed it. Now that's not bad. So what I'm saying here, guys, is that George's uh, suggestion here and idea has got some merit. I mean, I absolutely throttled that. That's the first time I've tried it. I just only got the the uh, the post before I left home, at, you know, 40 minutes ago. So here we are, we're going to get to the top, pause, and then we're going to bounce the start. George, you're onto something. You're onto something. That was sensational, as they say. That was sensational. It's great, I, I love getting this stuff. Guys, I invented channel lock the protocol, the base, but there's so much more that we can that we can use in the evolution of channel lock. That's what we've got to do. We have to keep it evolving. So here we go. Pause. That that's. I don't know where I'm. I don't know what I'm supposed to bounce. So George, you send me that, and I'll see what. What you've got, but I understand. I mean, I think you're, you're here, and I think you want to do this like a batter. You watch the batter. The batter gets here, and, and, he, and he does this. He gets into his legs here. So, George, maybe that's what you're talking about. So, yeah, but those two shots were good. Okay, guys, now the, now the other thing is, I noticed Bill Phillips on MMI this morning is doing a little bit of uh, incorporating a little bit of Moe's pre turn in that he's getting here and he's putting the club back here. There's nothing wrong with that, and, and that comes under the heading of tinkering. Uh, clearly George's uh, suggestion here is a tinkering process. Uh, Bill Phillips is absolutely a tinkering process. Now Bill Phillips has just corralled channel lock beautifully, and he's hitting it like a machine. His swing looks very machine-like right now. Uh, it's just well done Billy, you just, you are the machine as I said this morning. But I haven't tried putting it back here because for me, what I do here now because I'm trying to turn this trail shoulder by having a fair bit of back cock on anyway here, a fair bit of back cock to start with because I want to get this going, um, I don't actually need to be back there. But for guys that are not going to put as much back cock on and maybe not utilize taking the trail shoulder into uh, as the ignition move in the golf swing, if, if you know, like at the moment, I'm just doing this. I'm just pulling this straight back here. What does it feel like? Feels like a low handle pull on a when you're starting your lawnmower. It's a low handle pull. Shoulder goes up, but the arm stays down. Yeah. I don't. I don't want to pull it up here. You wouldn't pull a mower like that. You pull a mower like that. And that's what I want to feel. So guys, I'm using very much the uh, I've got to tell you guys <coughs> the single biggest improvement I've had in channel lock or the thing that's benefited me most is clearly this is, is my ignition move with the trail shoulder it just, it just frees me up my, shoulder, my chest opens my shoulders open That's what it feels like. Sneed told me that. Sam Sneed told me that he just he just pulled his trail shoulder back, and, and I said to him, "So Sam, is that would that have been the real origin of the term opening the shoulders? Everybody else thinks it's 
opening your shoulders is just hitting the ball hard, taking it back and giving it a wallop. And I said, well, that is an opening your shoulders. He said, well, I felt it was that. I absolutely felt it was opening my shoulders. And I've got to tell you guys, it really does give extraordinary contact for me. That guy's turned up, guys, so I've got to go. Uh, just hit one more. And this, this is a full back turn and a roll down. Well, they don't move, guys, and, and that's that's the beauty of channel lock. Come out here, we've got a really hard left to right wind here, which everybody, Jack Nicholas would never practice with the wind on his back. He hated it. He wouldn't practice. He used to always go around and hit back into the wind, and that's why he designed golf courses later on, and I might have said this before, if they all had plenty of land in the development, he would make a 360 degree practice area so that wherever the wind was blowing, you could go over and hit into it pretty good idea but you need a bit of land to do that but I get used to it guys it doesn't worry me I just lean on the wind oh the other thing guys really work on this and and, and I've lost a, I lost a little bit lately but I was thinking about it um, again I do my best thinking driving out here but guys when I'm swinging well I feel this this these are shut and I keep that lead shoulder shut and that is what I call channel block, because I block the channel. I keep that there, and I keep those shoulders pointing that way. Now, the more you can do that, and it's hard to do, but the more you do that, the more solid the hit will be. It don't get any better than that. It just doesn't get any better than that. Okay, guys, I've got to go and help this, uh, this guy, because... Come over, mate. Um... Rod, just come here, quick. This is the guy. His name's Rod Kafer. He was former international rugby union player. 46 years old, he's built like Arnold. Uh, but, uh, man, he's got some speed. And uh, I'll just get him to just give you a brief overview. I'm just doing a video for the guys, but um, I was just talking about how... How are you, buddy? Um, how, how quickly you can pick this up. If we have this situation, guys, now this is what I talk about when I talk about my whole modus operandi in, in teaching is hands-on. It's very difficult when you're seeing the protocol, it's being verbalised to you and you're trying to work it out. But when, when an instructor comes along, he says, no, no, you've got to get physically in this position here. Yeah. And this is what we did. Now, Rod turned up here yesterday and, um, as, and I told him, actually told him, told him the story and how you, how you turned up here on holidays and found me. But, uh, and like, he, as you can see, he's a tremendously powerful guy, got huge club head speed, and wants to get his golf to the level where he can play some significant golf. Now, guys, and I'm not saying it just because he's standing here, because I don't want to say anything unkind because he'll belt me, but, but he, he's got the potential to play some really significantly good golf. Uh, a, he's a good student, but, but, but B, once he gets into the right position, he can use all of this. He's a very strong upper body guy, but because he's getting in here and he's corralling, the impulse for that, as we get in a normal golf swing to move there, and he's corralling it so it goes here, uh, he can utilize that. So, so just, just, just briefly, with, with your exposure to it as quickly uh, as it was the other day, which was like within 20 minutes you were striping it, weren't you? Yeah, and uh, as I said to you, Having watched a lot, been a subscriber for like many people uh, yeah. for a while, yeah. and um, having just watched it and trying to get those fine concepts, yeah. Yeah. Um, it's, the, it's this fine detail, I guess. The dialing in of that, yeah. Yeah, the really dialing in and understanding it. And yeah. as you said, within 20 minutes, and I'd fooled around a bit on the range, and I'd done, as you know, some Mo stuff, and and I enjoyed it, and I've had you know different lessons from different people, and then, you know, just just understanding, getting the protocol right, getting set up right, I think is the main thing, and then just um, committing to that process and starting to understand it. It's a change of, definitely a change of swing thought, but once you get it, you know, the ball just, it doesn't move, and it's a well, nice I, feeling. And, and the amazing thing was, Rod had sort of a purple patch going there for, for a period where every ball was in, in the alley. 
I mean, there was no, there was no lefts, and of course, with a strong eye and a ball forward position, that is always, you know, the devil's disciple. It's the the ball is going over here, and he can hit it left, probably as as far as anyone can because he's got that speed. But the other thing, guys, which was extraordinary, and Rod made the made the comment where he said he was a terrible pitcher of the golf ball. Now, this is, and he's here, and he can back this up. We fiddled around here for five minutes. I set him up with the with the ready code and the channel lock and he hit some balls to the to the devil's pin there and in three shots he hit the flag twice yes. and they nearly went in the hole didn't they Unbelievable. And, and he said i've never hit the ball before in pitching ever on the golf course and he did it twice in three shots but all the other shots when he was hitting to the back flag they were coming in now this is a this is a club player and and a, and a mid to high handicap player and he's coming in and the ball is coming in and checking it's coming in Flooding and it's checking and it's around the flag. Yeah, that pitching was unbelievable because I stood here with as many of us do with half a bucket of balls or nearly a bucket of balls and pitched them. And when I'd finished doing something like that, you'd have 10 balls between yourself and the green. I didn't yeah. have a single ball that wasn't on the green. Oh, yeah. And as you a said, and in close proximity. In close, yeah, it was unbelievable. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, guys, it's um, like like Billy Phillips is is is, is our is our. Um, is our promoter of the of the potential of the golf swing. He's doing it with guys over there. I've had a lot of other things to do, so I haven't been able to to promote it uh, the way I want it yet. And I want the protocol infallible before I do that, uh, because I want it. You know, it's going to be a finished product. It'll just be a set and forget. Just do this, guys, and it's with you forever. So I know it works. Uh, we've seen it in the flesh, and in going forward, I think probably I've got probably another month, and I think I'll have a finished product. And I'll be able to you know, put the, the bow on it and the, and the cherry on the top of the cake and put it put it to bed. Um, but guys, uh, you know, I'm the I'm the inventor of it. I mean, I'm you know, I gush about it, but I can tell you absolutely, categorically and unequivocally, that this is the golf swing that we all have been looking for. I've been looking for it for 40 years, and I've been a reasonably competent player and been able to play, you know, at, at a reasonably high standard with a conventional golf swing, but I never ever have had a golf swing where I know every time I step onto the onto the onto the um, the practice tee that I'm going to hit the same shape. And 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 I could see Rod. I mean, I the, the, you know I, almost his eyes were going around like poker machine because he's saying, "How can I hit these shots all in the same alley all the time?" Yeah. And it's purely and simply the geometry, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Once the geometry is there, your body can't do anything else, guys. And that's the whole point I made. No. All right, buddy. We'll we'll, we'll hit some thanks. balls. Uh, yeah. Th thanks for that. Thank you. Uh, and uh, as I, he's a, you know, he's a, he's an athlete and been a, you know, a world class uh, uh, athlete and uh, long and, time ago, mate. Long yeah, time. Yeah, it doesn't matter, mate. I mean, some of the things you did are still legendary. <laughs> uh, no one will ever forget that drop goal to win sure. the, to win the. Uh, yeah, was that after the bill? Uh, could have been moments yeah. in time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, 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 no. Yeah, mate, I played, I played a different code to. Uh, to Rod, and I certainly didn't play it at the level that, that, that he did. And, and guys, this is this is what it's about. I mean, um, if you've got if you've got a desire to do anything uh, within reason, I mean, you, you can't. I mean, some people like I'm a behavioural scientist, and I, I know a lot of guys say on occasions, you can do anything you want. Well, you can't do anything you want. You, you can aspire to do anything you want. I mean, I, I could even when I was younger, and I was a sprinter, and I was pretty quick. But I can never go out and, and compete with Carl Lewis or Ben Johnson because I didn't have the capability. I could think all I wanted, but I simply didn't have the capability. But if you've got the desire, what you can do is bring yourself up to your maximum potential, whatever that is. That may not be Tiger's or, or Jordan's Beast, but whatever yours is, you can maximise it if you attack it correctly. And, and I think this golf swing is going to give you a much better chance to do that. Okay, guys, that's that's the video for today. There's a lot of stuff in there. and. Uh, so it was good that we, we covered all those things. So uh, and we'll do some more tomorrow. Thanks, Rod. Thanks, mate.